So you had an agreement uh, with the Warriors in your first pro season. Have you gone playing against Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, uh, Kevin Durant, and if yes, uh, what was it like? Uh, that experience was incredible. Just being on the floor with um, a lot of Hall of Famers, great basketball players, and as you know them now, champions. Um, that was the year that I think they had won their first one. Um, and then coming back into that environment, just learning from Steph, Clay, KD, it was just an experience I would never forget. Uh, what are your memories from from playing in the NCAA? Uh, just just having those four years to represent a, a university like Louisiana Tech. Um, it's a smaller uni smaller university, mid major, but um, overlooked. A lot of talent goes through there. Um, the guys that I met along the journey, incredible guys. We still keep in touch today, and just we built a bond that we'll never forget. What kind of de degree did you get in in university? Uh, sociology. And how was it? Uh, it, it got stressful at times. Uh, we had this one professor uh, that just gave everybody a hard time because I feel like athletes before us had kind of messed it up for us. But once I got to know him, you know, just try to apply myself to the work, um, he made it a lot easier on us. In your first uh, year in Utana, you only stayed for a few months. Uh, what what are the memories from uh, from that time? Uh, like I said, Utana, there's nothing to do. so. Um, except for go to practice and kind of bond with the guys. Uh, I just remember people on the team, um, like Dovis, um, Gidis, which is played for Redis and won a championship, you know, like guys like that, that, that wasn't getting a lot of playing time. And then you see them develop their game and actually get a chance to play and then do great things like that. So that's the biggest thing I could take out of that for me. When you played in Antana, you had this ninja kind of tie on your head. And uh, Jigimo Toskuchas told us that uh, he he kind of looked at you with that uh, with that tie, and he told us that uh, that's how he uh, got to to wear it every time he stepped on the court. What's the story behind your uh, tie? How did you? Get um, it? it was just a phase in my life and my career that I just I don't know. I just started rocking it. I seen the women wear it, and I was like, why can't the men wear it as well? It's a kind of cool look, like. And I always liked Assassin's Creed, the game, so it just gave me a little ninja type look. Labas, ne pika sutrukdžiau, bet ne pamiršk paspausti subscribe ir like miktuk. So you've played in two beautiful countries in Turkey and Israel. Which one uh, did you like better? Um, <clears throat> I would have to say um, Israel, only because um, I got to experience it at full strength before COVID. Um, when I went to Turkey and Galatasaray, it was right when COVID had kicked off. So it was people just always inside. You really didn't get to see the city for what it really was. But um, this part of the city I did get to see is beautiful. Um, I would love to go back, love to go back to Israel. But I have to say Israel just because I got the experience in its full capacity. Uh, you grew up in Florida, which which has beautiful weather, um, beautiful beaches and uh, and competitive NBA franchise. Uh, what's what's the worst thing about growing up in Florida? Uh, the bugs. And uh, all, although we have great weather, um, it is it gets ugly at times. Just being on the coast and you get hit by those hurricanes and, you know, just different, the rain, you never know. It could be raining five minutes and then sunny another five and it is just switch up on you. But um, Florida is a great state to live in. I love it. Uh, I plan to stay there for the rest of my life, if I can, if that's where work leads me. What about the alligators? Have you seen any? Uh, yeah, my, my classmate from high school actually had an um, alligator farm, and she had a pet alligator that she brought to school one day, kept it in her bag. Uh, her name was Jamie Ellis. I remember it like it was yesterday, but yeah, alligators are a normal thing in Florida. What uh, American thing is the one that uh, that you miss the most while being uh, while playing overseas? The food, the 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 easy access to the food. Also, I mean, people say that Americans are lazy and spoiled, which I partially agree with. But um, it makes life, the convenience of life, so much easier. Um, <clears throat> but it's just with things like that, you have to not lose grasp of like actual life, the things that are important to you and just actually taking the time to go get food and spend time with your loved ones. So if you could bring one American food franchise to Tana, which one would you choose? 
Any franchise. Yeah, any. Probably Wingstop. Uh, different flavored chicken wings, you know. I'm a chicken wings guy. Can't go wrong with chicken wings, especially the lemon pepper. If you could invite one former teammate of yours to on that team, who would it be? Anyone. Kenny Gaines. Kenny Gaines, okay. Yeah, yeah, Kenny Gaines. That's my guy. I actually talked with him yesterday. Um, he's uh, a GA at the university, his alma mater, University of Georgia right now. Um, he's starting to take the coaching path, but he said if the opportunity presents itself to come back and play basketball, he would love to come back and play. Um, whether it be U Tenna, which I think he wouldn't mind just being familiar, seeing familiar faces. And, you know, he's familiar with this play for two years. So yeah, that would be my one person. What's the ultimate goal in your basketball career? Um, just to remain having fun with it. Um, the last year and a half was a tough part of my life. Um, just dealing with injuries, um, dealing with things behind the scenes. And I just had to learn that how to deal with it. I feel like certain people and certain situations took my love away from the game and I had lost myself and I wasn't enjoying the game as I should be. And that was my thing, just gaining the love back for it again and just having fun like, a, like the kid used to do. Don't forget to subscribe to BetSafe LKL TV.